This fire pit, though. Look, I'm not a big fire pit guy, but I will admit that this would make the backyard look pretty cool. I don't like that it's sitting on bare grass in these photos, though. This bear glass. This one I need yesterday. If you have one, I demand you send it to me right now. This remote has a headphone plug in to listen to TV quietly. You know, I feel like I've seen that before. It's neat. It looks like a Roku remote, so no friggin' thank you, but that is a neat idea. An atlas of every color imaginable. Okay. This serves no purpose to a colorblind person like me. I say, even though I can still see all colors, but that is so <laughs> cool. I would love to have that book, but I feel like it costs thousands of dollars for no reason. Incredible custom camper. Mm, oh my god. <laughs> We get about eight gallons to the mile with this beauty right here. Is that a horse trailer? This key. Okay, come on. Where are the cool keys like this when you go to get your house keys copied? Refrigerated kitchen drawers. Excuse me, you can do that? What? Man, the world of rich people is full of things I never would have thought of, honestly. OMG, I forgot to show you guys the squid kite I saw yesterday. That is utterly incredible. This knife set from 2030. This looks neat, but I've got this weird suspicion that form over function in this case is... Mm, I don't know, not gonna be as cool as you think. Yes, you might be creepy, but at least you're comfortable AF. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that is an apocalypse outfit if I've ever seen one. Steamer boat lid. Oh, okay, that's just cute. That's just cute. I don't know why, when I read boat lid, that is not what I expected. Maybe because I read it incorrectly because I've been losing my mind. I low-key want these. My fat ass want to watch the food cook. I wonder how long those last on average, you know what I mean? There's just something about them that makes it seem like they're not long for this world. This guy lurking in the living room. Hmm. No, I wouldn't want that. I feel like that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. You know you're an adult when you're excited about this. Oh, that is so awesome. Look at all that single you sh plastic we get to throw away. No, really. All jokes aside, that is quite convenient, I have to say. These lines go up the wall so you can park perfectly in between the lines. That would be incredibly helpful for nice enough people like myself. You know, I try to park like a normal person, but I've got a sneaky suspicion that the easier you make it, the more the assholes are going to ignore it. Leather made from cactus. It's elastic, customizable, and breathable like animal leather, but it's also soft to the touch. It's suitable for luxury production. Okay, I would actually need to see this cactus leather in action. Like, how would it apply to furniture, for instance, or car seats, things like that? Ooh, wait, what do we have here? Hold on, let's see. Oh, that's really cool. It's a bookmark that marks your spot in the book. That is super neat. I need four. Measuring cups designed to visually depict the fractions they represent. I know I'm getting old when crap like this excites me. A vintage metal shopping list? Oh, I had no idea they ever made anything like this, but hell, a lot of this seems incredibly useful today. Like a good neighbor, stay over there. 1,000 Netflix hours, 2020 quarantine collection. Where's my Netflix patch? I watched that many. For the Night Watch. <laughs> oh, that shield is gonna hurt so bad. If someone actually smacks that, is there any cushioning there at all? Hold on, we're probably not wearing pants. Hmm, that's a couple of Gen X parents living in that house. The perfect wheels don't exist. You're wrong because they're right there. A built-in watering hole for your pets. Oh my God, that's actually super cool. Knowing my cat, he absolutely would refuse to utilize this, at least for water. He'd eat out of it, sure, but water, no. He's a bit of a freak that way. These 70s conversation pits. You know, I've got a sneaky suspicion that we're gonna get a lot of 70s aesthetic coming back, mixing in with the 90s because we're kind of leaving 80s, or rather, I'll call it fake 80s because the aesthetic we've been following wasn't actually the 80s at all. And if you lived through the 80s, you know what I'm talking about. I didn't, but you know what I'm talking about nonetheless. And I think conversation pits are gonna make a comeback just as soon as the middle class grows again. Backyard beach via sand pools. That is really cool. I don't know about the type of upkeep for this situation, but it's neat. We should split bathrooms by pee versus poop instead of men versus women. I'm on board. Portal mirrors. Ah, man. <laughs> I would spend such a disproportionate amount of my time trying to look down the infinite void that's in this photograph. <laughs> I present to you the Nothing's Getting Done Today 3000. I'm sorry. <sighs> Call me crazy, but this bed is pretty terrible looking. 
It looks like the type of thing that you order expecting one thing, and when it arrives, that's not what you're getting. It takes up so much more room, and you know your ass isn't actually going to sit in it and use it all that often. Plus, if you fling yourself around a lot in your sleep like I do, the stuff on the shelves get knocked over. You might wake yourself up by smacking your hand into one of those shelves. I'm just saying, this thing does not really seem all that functional. Honestly, just my opinion. Also, for long web series, movie franchises, and Zoom meetings. When I'm president of video games, all games will have an adults with busy lives feature. Hi, I see you haven't played this game in a month. Here's a reminder of the last things you did and where you need to go next. Press X for a quick tutorial of the controls you forgot. You know, I think Alan Wake is kind of one of the best examples of how you should organize certain types of stories. You know, when you finish an episode, it saves right then and there. And then when you start again, you get a recap of the previous quote-unquote episode. Kind of like TV shows. I don't know. I've been playing through Alan Wake again. Love the game. It's fantastic. I can wear this proudly. <laughs> I see. Look, if there's one celebrity that gets to wear something like that, it would be Jonah Hill at this point, man. Rain sounds that unfortunately include the frequent cries of my cat because she wouldn't shut up while I was recording this. Damn, you got a CD out of this? I hope you like my new recipe. It's called Shut the F*** Up Cakes. Disney are remaking Home Alone. This is a petition for them to recast 38-year-old- Oh, this is so old. As 9-year-old Kevin McAllister and have nobody in the film acknowledge. See, that would be fun. That'd be really fun. I'd be down. Never gonna happen. A coconut horse sound making thingy for bikes. I- I love that that's what we call- I mean, I don't know what else you'd call it. I added a catwalk to my living room for my three floofs. Catwalks are very important. We've got high shelves, and Munchkin goes nuts for them. Look close. I'm hoping my wife won't notice. Hmm. She'll notice. I mean, if it's a brand new rug, she's gonna look at it and go, Ooh, what's this? I can almost guarantee you she'll notice. Surprise, surprise. Women have seen Star Wars. Right? Right. Anywho, a what em sandcastles? Screw em sandcastles? I wanna make sand. Oh, I see what you're saying. You wanna make sand skeletons. That is fun. I need that. Sardine paper clips in a sardine can. Oh, that's kind of cool. I. I suppose? A mini filing cabinet for SD cards. Okay, hell yes. This is such a novelty item, but it's so cute. It's so cute I need it, even though I don't have nearly enough cards to fit the damn thing. You probably didn't know you wanted a chubby ceramic seal sculpture by my mom. You're right, I didn't know that I wanted that. Now I do. Probably the greatest dog costume I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, and I bet the dog loves having it on. I think this innovation should be welcomed by everyone, irrespective of selfish desires. I have never seen the word irrespective in my life. Is that a real word? Hold on, sorry, I'm looking it up, I apologize. Oh my god, wow, you learn something every day, and that pillow would be awesome. Although, I turn a lot. I've had to explain to my girlfriend many times, look, it has nothing to do with you, I just need to flip-flop a lot, okay? Very cool design for siblings sharing a room. That is actually pretty cool, I do have to admit. The perfect bookshelf decor doesn't exist. Well, it clearly does. MTV should do a show where they have a young woman read three of the horniest messages from guys in her DMs in front of the three men's moms, and the moms have to guess which one was their son. A screenshot of the DM will be projected as well, so the moms can use their grammar as a clue. Oh, oh dear lord. Didn't know they made these huge shower-slash-bath tubs in the first place. Oh my god, for when you really need to get clean. There's a sippy cup designed to trick kids into taking their medicine without a fuss. The cup offers a secret compartment directly under the lid, so the medicine goes down first, followed by their favorite juice. I wonder how effective this actually is. I mean, look, sometimes kids can smell bullshit a mile away. Sometimes. A full-sized inflatable boat complete with beer cooler. <laughs> look, it's... It's a neat novelty idea, but this is one of those things that you might use one singular time, and I do say might, because how often are you going to the lake and waiting to blow up this full-size thing? This is unfortunately one of those items that's probably going to be in the trash within three years, and that's annoying. This skull-shaped charcoal takes barbecues to the next level. If I still made anything with charcoal grills, I would only want to buy these. Four-person bunk bed for the best sleepovers ever. Oh, that is not what I was imagining in my head. So the couple shares the bed down there, and then the third and fourth wheel will share the two top. Oh, I see how it is. Giant crocheted Snorlax. 
More like give me that right now. Women's soap, lavender, melon, berry. Men's soap, there's a soap that makes you smell like gunpowder, campfire, and whiskey. All right, that's unfortunate. That's what I take a shower to get off me. Look, campfire smell is okay for the most part, but I wouldn't want to wash myself with something that makes me smell like that. A sofa with a dog bed in the armrest? I don't have a dog. Soy sauce dishes that reveal a painting once you fill them up. That's actually kind of neat. I mean, most of this stuff I would have said is actually kind of neat. This steampunk spider. I was honestly hoping that it was going to be the spider from Wild Wild West, but this is cool too. I'd buy this just because of the packaging. Honestly, I wouldn't, because it looks like you're getting almost nothing in the package. I mean, honestly. And it looks like the type of thing that would be twice the cost of a regular much larger bag of walnuts. Bring this to a friend's house who doesn't own a cat and stick it under the door frame while they're in the bathroom. Okay, this I do 100% need. Not just a doormat I want, a doormat I need. Keys, glasses, phone, debit card, and purse. Turn off the iron and stove. Actually, yeah, having a doormat that reminds you about things you may forget on the way out the door is of course a no-brainer. Dear person behind me, I hope today doesn't suck. Lots of love, the person in front of you. Thanks, man. Drone disguised as hummingbird captures incredible footage of monarch butterfly swarm. We don't need birds. They're not even real anyway. TV mount. Okay, wow. You put a lot of effort into that. That is adorable and very well crafted. Congratulations. An octagon grilling table that lets everyone cook their own meal. I like it. This giant family tent has a private bedroom compartment and a full living area. Okay, not, not actually what I was expecting. I've seen a lot of those giant tents that have a bunch of bedrooms that seemed like they would take 14 years to set up. At least this one looks significantly easier to work with. A terrarium coffee table. That I don't think I'd be able to take care of. These could come in handy. What the f***? Me, yes, off, that, it, you, this, the man, and die, and the horse you rode in on. Ah, these could be useful if you're one of those really weird people that would actually use them. But please, for the love of God, don't ever actually hand anybody anything like this. You are young, and then at some point, you're just suddenly thrilled by this. <sighs> I feel like a lot of people who aren't in the United States are gonna look at this and go, what, you don't just have these in every house? Look, Finnish people would know what I'm talking about. How you guys have those cabinets that are above the sink that are meant to dry your dishes when you're done hand washing them? We don't have anything like that over here. The closest thing we get is a sink that is designed to have a drying rack on the side so the droplets go back down the drain. That's the closest thing we'll ever get. Toilet seat scale shows how much weight you lost after taking a dump. You know, again, that's a novelty you'll be bored with so quickly, it's gonna go in the trash real fast. And it's unfortunate how many of these are like that. Man, I'm out. 